Hello, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here to do my first ever marathon swim. So a marathon swim is 10 kilometers long. It's at the Big Brutal event and um, just arrived here in gorgeous North Wales, just right by Snowdon itself. It's um, 11th of September and it's um, yeah, fairly warm actually. I thought I'd do a little vlog just to kind of go through how the event goes, um, my experience doing my first uh, uh, 10k swim. The longest I've ever done so far is only 6k and that was a 6k sea swim I did training a week ago. My training hasn't been as I wanted, I'd been sick um, throughout August. I did two sea swims in August, I did a one and a half k no 1.3k uh, one at the Jubilee Pool Penzance in Cornwall and I did a round St Michael's Mount swim that was 2.5k. July, so a couple of months ago, I did my first ever Ironman and leading into that, I did a lot of swim training. Oh, okay, I've only done 6K leading into this one, but I think I'll be right. The only thing I am worried about is um, cramps. I've always got bad cramps swimming over the years. One key for cramps, if you do cramp up a lot, is bananas. They have a lot of potassium in them, so they do help stave it off. I've heard they have them on the uh, nutrition table here. The race is gonna be eight laps. Eight laps, so it's 1.25K each lap. Every two laps, so every 2.5K, you have to come out. Um, you can get refreshments, you can hydrate yourself. Um, I've never really practiced that much hydration and nutrition during swimming so i'm really using this as an exploratory swim aiming to finish it um when i did my ironman swim i did it in 63 minutes so but i won't be able to hold up that pace for this so i'm hoping to probably do it in aim for if i can do it around two minute per 100 meters i would be i would be happy but if not the main thing is just to finish this and see how i like marathon swimming and do I take it to longer distances above but here we go I'm looking forward to the challenge it's really warm actually a lot warmer than I thought water I think Friday a couple of days ago they took the temperature and it's about 18 degrees C I am doing it in a wetsuit I haven't done much skin swimming um, especially for a longer distance like that so you know I want to do the distance is my main aim um, and then we'll see we'll see where we take it afterwards but here you go here's a little race recap I'm doing this has been a bit of a road trip as well which I'm going to do as a separate video because it's a little bit more adventure um, but now time to get ready and racing
10k swim here at the big brutal at Klin, Klin Padal. I think that's how you say it. As you can see, I was really excited after the 10k swim. Unfortunately, in all the excitement, I completely forgot to turn on my microphone and the wind was really bad, so you can't hear any of this. It is a few weeks later now in September. My moustache has shed its hairs like the autumn leaves falling from the trees. But I can still give you a little bit of a recap of how it went. The excitement may have dulled slightly, but the satisfaction is there. I was really, really happy to finish the 10k swim. I found it okay up until around the 8k mark, but those last 2k were really tough. Throughout it, uh, each of the times that I got out of the water, I took a gel on board. I did also um, eat some of the highly recommended flapjacks. Um, completely forgot that you can't really swim while chewing, um, so don't do that. Or if anyone has any tips on how to do that, please let me know. For a lot of it, because I was wearing a wetsuit and had really good buoyancy in my legs, because I was scared of the cramps, I didn't kick for a good first half of it, just because I didn't want to use my legs at that point. What was really cool was the 2.5k, 5k and the 10k, you all set off together. And that made it quite difficult to judge your pacing, so I found myself at the beginning probably going a little bit too fast, trying to keep up with the faster people, especially those doing the 2.5k, but I soon got into my rhythm. I really enjoyed doing laps because it meant you could break down the whole 10k into those 1.25k laps. I think that really helped from a mental perspective. And I hit my target time. So I did uh, 3 hours 18 minutes, which is just under um, 2 minutes per 100 metres. I made sure I took on a lot of fluids every time I came out of the water, so that probably helped to stave off the cramps. The event was run perfectly. So Brutal Events, shout out to you guys. I really enjoyed the event. They have also triathlons. They have a double Ironman that includes running up and down Snowden at the end. That is brutal. There were people who were going still over 24 hours later as we started our swim. So respect to all of you who finished that. And in the swim, there were two people doing the whole 10K butterfly. Oh my gosh, maximum respect to you. I think the most I've ever done was 800 meter butterfly back in my pool swimming days. And even though I was a young whippersnapper, I found that brutal in itself. So 10K butterfly, maximum respect. I do wish I'd trained a bit more, but I was always treating this as like a B event to hit to try and use my fitness from doing an Ironman and to do the main sport out of that that I really love, which is swimming. So I'm really satisfied. Um, will I do another? Yes, I'd love to try and do this one again next year. It's definitely wet my appetite for doing some longer swims. I'm probably gonna edge over time to doing more skins because that's another challenge. I just thought I'd go for distance first and then maybe some longer skin swims. Ooh, that's hard to say. But there you go. That's a quick report on my first 10K marathon swim. Really enjoyed it. Congratulations to everybody, whatever distance you did. It was a really great atmosphere. And if you like this content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Remember, it doesn't cost a thing. And until next time, happy, but more importantly, safe swimming.